So this is my audience. Hey, Lonnie. Hey, Lonnie. Okay. You guys ready? Hello. Today I'll be talking about the pen. Have you ever wondered why more pennies are on the ground than any other type of coin? It's the most forgettable type of coin and has many drawbacks to its production. I researched this topic with several reliable resources and used information from the National Public Radio, the U.S. Mint, and the New York Times. The continued production of pennies causes environmental damage, heavy costs to our economy, and is overall inconvenient for the modern day use. Therefore, we should phase out the penny. The first benefit of getting rid of the penny would be to remove the extra cost that it brings to our economy. Each penny made is more cost to produce than the actual value of the coin. It costs around two cents for every one cent penny produced. This costs taxpayers more money, and while it may not seem like a lot, it builds up over time. In 2019, the U.S. Mint lost around $72 million just on the production of pennies. Many of the resources used in the production of pennies are imported from foreign countries. This puts the United States further into debt and makes our trade deficit even higher. The U.S. military has also stopped using pennies in overseas affairs, as they are easily lost and have minimal value. Aside from the cost, another reason to phase out the penny is for the sake of convenience and keeping up with modern times. In today's world, many people choose not to carry cash or pay in cash as it's less convenient. Even less people keep track of and pay in change. It's much easier to keep all your money safely stored to be accessed by a credit card or a debit card. Many people would rather choose to carry a card instead of fumble around with cash and change. Many forget about coins, lose them, or throw them out. The most forgettable type of coin being the penny, as it's one of the smallest and has the least value. Some people just collect them to let them sit in jars. The first coin that our government no, this isn't the first coin that our government would be getting rid of, as we have gotten rid of other irrelevant coins, such as the half-cent coin and the gold-dollar coin. Inflation has been a, on a fairly consistent trend that has led to the $19.90 being equivalent to about $30 today. This means that one penny, then, would be worth around 30, 30 pennies today, yet the production cost remains the same. This means that the losses on pennies today are higher than ever. A cool fact is that with the current minimum wage being $7.25 an hour, in the time it would take you to stop and pick up a penny off the ground, you would be making less money than you would make working minimum wage for that short amount of time. Aside from convenience, the production of the penny is actually very damaging to our environment. Something needs to be done about this before it has too many adverse effects. The penny is made from only 2.5% copper, which coats the outside of the penny. The rest is made from zinc. That zinc is obtained, no, the way zinc is obtained is detrimental to our environment. The process of mining and refining zinc has several unwanted byproducts, one being carbon dioxide. Every one ton of zinc refined produces three tons of carbon dioxide. This further contributes to the buildup of greenhouse gases and makes our already severe global warming problem even worse. Many people encourage the government to take steps to ease global warming by reducing emissions, and this would be another step in the right direction. Zinc mining also leads to zinc pollution in waterways, which can lead to buildups build in fish that can then move further down the food chain when the fish are eaten. This leads to zinc poisoning in various animals. All in all, the benefits of stopping production of the penny greatly outweigh the costs. The cost of a penny is more than it is worth. It is irrelevant, inconvenient, and the, the value has been greatly reduced due to inflation. Its production has many negative side effects on the environment. Now that you have heard my speech, I hope you can realize that the penny is the most why the penny is the most glossed over piece in our monetary system. Then you can join the millions of people who think the penny should be no more. Woo